hips, elbows, ankles, wrists. This year, millions of people will suffer an injury to one or more of their joints, cartilages, or muscles. Minimally invasive surgery has become the gold standard for treating these injuries. And now, as Wink News Health and Medical reporter uh, Amy Osher explains, surgeries to repair the injuries are getting much smaller. Jacob Ridding worried that severe knee pain would keep him from riding his bike to work. We had an MRI done and it showed a tear on one side of my knee, but that wasn't where I was experiencing the most pain. MedStar Washington's orthopedic surgeon Evan Argentar used nanoarthroscopy to look inside Jacob's knee. In the office without anesthesia with him awake, I put this little camera in his knee. A normal scope is the size of a pencil eraser, the nanoscope the size of a pinhole. Minimally invasive surgery has evolved even further to be even less invasive than the minimally invasive. Dr. Argentar was able to see that Jacob had multiple meniscal tears and through another pinhole incision was able to repair the problem. He ended up getting it twice, one in the office that discovered a problem that the advanced imaging didn't identify and then secondarily I did it interventionally in the operating room and I was you know, able to, in an ultra minimally invasive way, cure his problem. Which should mean less anesthesia, less nerve damage, less recovery time, fewer complications and less risk of infection. And about there. And less than a month after the procedure, Jacob was pain free. Amy Osher, Wink News. Amy, thanks. The doctor believes that the nano procedures will become the new gold standard for arthroscope and may be used instead of MRI for some patients. Coming up, a cure.